Okay, today I'm going to be taking an x-ray of my hand with my friend Griffin G. Brock's um, patented Desmotron tube. Um, this is a type 1A21 tube, and it's the first of its kind. It uses a single electrode. So in yesterday's video, I told y'all I'd be taking an x-ray today when I lit the single wire incandescent light bulb on Halloween. So the thing about this x-ray tube is it is perfectly harmless, but yet you can take x-rays through walls if you have x-ray film. You can take it through walls and it'll take an image 20 plus feet away. So it is best not to think of this emitting x-rays, but a new kind of ray. That's the best way to think of it. Okay, so here I have my 1930s diathermy machine. Um, let's get the resonant coil and we'll connect that to the cauterizing terminal down here. Maybe, possibly. Let's get on there. Hang on, I'm gonna pop. Okay, let us now test this coil. Yes, it's working good. So that's where it goes in, right there. This is where it comes out. Okay, here is my friend Griffin G. Brock's patented Desmotron tube. Griffin is 19 years old, and he blows these glass tubes himself and makes all these. So here is the physical tube. Here's a little um, box. He, um, I asked him, and he said he made this to look like the old vacuum tube um, boxes or cartons. Looks like a 1920s Cunningham vacuum tube box. Okay, let's set this up. So there is the coil. I'm not going to use this socket that he um, uses normally. I'm just going to wrap the wire around the base of this, the banana plug right there. Okay, there is the tube. It is connected. Let's test it. It should glow blue. Perfect. So after operating this for a decent amount of time, the tip of this thing gets extremely, extremely hot. This is basically a particle accelerator. That's exactly what this is. Um, there's an aluminum disc back there. That's the single electrode. It connects right in there. And then that, that's a vacuum inside there, and that's it. So it's basically a particle accelerator. Now I will get the intensifying screen right here. This one's green, and I will turn off the lights, and we will take our x-ray, and I will shut the blinds, too. Okay, so we want it as dark in here as possible. I need some lace curtains for in here. Maybe with some red velvet and stuff. Okay, let's turn off this lamp. And turn off this lamp. Okay, this will be difficult because I'm going to have to hold the phone and show the x-ray thing. Okay, here is, that is not the intensifying screen. Where did I put it? Okay, I had to turn the flash on so I could see. Here's the intensifying screen. If I could find something to hold it up right here for me, I wouldn't have to hold this. But I'm just going to do this with my hand, and hopefully y'all can see my fingers. Or I might be able to put the phone somewhere else. Let me figure this out. Okay, I think I have some chip clips up here somewhere. Oh, there's my Durant magazine for my car club. Where the heck are those clips? Oh, there's my asbestos. Yes. Okay, I found some tape. Worst comes to worst, we're just going to use random doodads um, and tape to hold up the intensifying screen. Okay, now I'm trying to find an extension cord or something to plug in the diathermy machine. <sighs> Why is that door opening? What the heck? I just latched that and closed that. What the heck? This apartment's haunted. If y'all want to know more about that, y'all can go to the top of my playlist on my TikTok profile. Um, and y'all can scroll to the last playlist I made called Parkinson Paranormal, and y'all can see that door open when I said, if there are any spirits here, please open the door, and that thing swung open, 
and then somebody knocked at my door so I had to cut the video or else I wouldn't have cut it and I would have shown what was in here. Okay, I found a surge protector, but the problem now is that that's a two-prong plug. There is no ground pin. So now I've got to find one of those doodads that adds the ground pin, and then we can do this. And I, oh, here's one. Oh, that was easy. Okay. What is on that? That is nasty. Okay. Here's one of those doodads. Okay. Let's plug it the in. Yes. Perfect. Now, yes, we're in business. We will plug it in the diathermy machine. Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Look, it's making those lights. Let me turn on my flash. Ta da. I'll turn it off. On, off, on. Off, on. Okay. Let's disconnect this and we'll scoot back the diathermy machine now that we have an extension cord. And then this can come over here. Now it can connect right there and the intensifying screen can hang from this chandelier. Okay, let us now hang the intensifying screen from there with our random doodads. This wick for an oil lamp and some tape and the intensifying screen. Yeah. Okay, let's adjust our spacing now. That ought to work. Oh wait, we we'll want room for the hand to go behind there without me getting shocked by this. That ought to be perfect. Okay. Got to reconnect this. Get on it. You poop. Why? Why? Okay. There we go. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to stick my hand right there and we'll do the x-ray. Let me turn off the flash. Here we go. Here goes my hand behind me. We might get a better image if I block that blue light from that. Let me put a box over that and then we'll do that. So you can see the webbing between, there are my bones, you can see them if you really look. Okay, let's block out that light from that and we'll do this again. And actually I can turn this up. That's better. Let's do that without blocking the light and see what happens. There's my bones in my palm of my hand. And my fingertips. You can see the bones. But this is perfectly harmless, I assure you. I know some of y'all don't think so, but I promise it is perfectly harmless. I'm going to flip my hand. Okay, now let's have some fun with this. Um, I'm going to get this Tupperware and put something in it, like a metal spoon, and then I'm going to x-ray that. Here's a spoon. Okay, we're going to put it in there like that. Let's close it so it won't fall out. Perfect. Now let's go x-ray this. Let me turn off the flash. Okay, I'm walking over here. Let's turn on the machine. There's our container with our spoon. Let's do this. Okay, I'm sliding it back behind it. There it is. See? Let me turn on the flash. Hang on. See? Now let me turn off the flash. There's our spoon. 